Okay, class. So what we're going to do is I need to solve the same problem, but now we're going to use the traditional method instead of the p-value method. So the traditional method we've already done, the p-value method we just did. So we continue doing that. We found the p-value and we came to our conclusions. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it with the traditional method. So steps one, two, three, four and five are all exactly the same until the point where we calculate the z-value, which is where we are now. Traditional method, we have to find the critical point. To do that, I'm going to start by drawing my curve. And my critical points are these. Alpha is 0 0.05. So alpha over 2 is 0 0.025. So that means that area there is 0 0.025. That area there is 0 0.025. My critical point is that one. And remember, these points come in pairs, so I'm going to get that one also. And to do that, I use calculator. And so what I'm plugging into my calculator is use inverse norm function. And so what I'm plugging in is 0 0.025. And use inverse on calculator. And so when I plug it in like this, it's going to give me this piece. So that calculator is only going to give me this piece. Because it's only going to give you one tail, and it always gives you the tail from left to right. So when I plug it in, I get negative one point. 959, which I'm going to round to 1.96, negative. So that gives me this one value, negative 1.96. So the other one on the other side would be positive 1.96. So I'm going to put 1.96 there. And that's that positive that value. Now my Z value, my test statistic was Z equals 0 0.98. This middle part is the fail to reject region. Therefore, my Z value lands in here. Since my C value lands on the fail to reject region, I fail to reject the null. Which is the same conclusion as what we did before. So the critical value, the critical value method uh, stops us from finding the p-value method. Kind of work a little backwards. Instead of using the norm CDF, we use the inverse CDF. And basically what we do is it finds our limit from our fail to reject to our reject region. And from there, we, we're going to end up with the same conclusion. Okay, so I'm going to be asking you to do the... Uh, p-value method and also the critical value method on different problems. So you have to know how to do them both.